everyone. Welcome to Q&A by your one and only PhD mentor, trainer and guide, Dr. Ritika Gaba. As the PhD season of IIMs is on, already IIMs Bangalore and IIMs Ahmedabad have opened their PhD applications for the year 2023. So we also decided why not dedicate this Q&A session to answer and to resolve all your questions and queries related to IIMs PhD. So without much further ado, let us start with our first question, which was asked to us by Mr. Datta. Now, Mr. Datta wanted to know whether he can continue his corporate job and continue working on his venture even while pursuing a PhD from IIMs. So yes, of course, you can continue working uh, in your corporate job or you can work in your venture, your business venture, even when you're pursuing your PhD. However, remember that in such a case, you must pursue a part-time PhD and not a full-time PhD from IIMs. Also, just to let you know that most of the IIMs uh, offer full-time PhD and there are very few IIMs who are currently first offering a part-time PhD. So you have to identify the IIMs which are offering a part-time PhD and if you do get enrolled in those part-time PhD program, you can definitely continue with your job and your or your venture. In case you are confused between what is a part-time PhD and what is a full-time PhD, then don't worry. For your help, we are sharing with you our previous videos dedicated to part-time PhD and full-time PhD. You can watch these videos and clearly understand the difference between the two kinds of PhD programs. From here, we move on to a second question, which was asked to us by Study Utopia. So he or she wanted to know that if they will get any financial assistance along with GRF. Uh, so many of you might be a little confused with this question. Actually, uh, the full-time scholars which get enrolled in IIMs get a fellowship. Now you can get this fellowship through uh, by qualifying a GRF, like when you qualify the UGC Net GRF. GRF full form is Junior Research Fellowship. So if you qualify as a UGC Net GRF, so you will be getting this monthly stipend, this fellowship for pursuing a PhD from UGC. In case you got enrolled in the IIMs PhD full-time program by qualifying any other eligibility examination like the CAT, so then in that case, IIMs themselves will be giving you a fellowship from their behalf. However, Study Utopia, what I understand, wants to ask that if there is any other additional perks which IIMs is offering, like uh, most of the IIMs gives you uh, some kind of incentive, uh, some kind of sponsorship when you go and visit abroad to uh, present your papers related to your PhD. So they probably want to understand that whether this incentives or these extra benefits would also be available to the GRF candidates. So yes, if IIMs has mentioned anything specifically for their fellows, then they that particular benefit will be given to all categories of students, whether it is a JRF can, qualified candidate or whether they are getting a stipend from the IIMs, all of you would be getting the same benefits. From here, we move on to our third question, which was asked to us by Mr. Agarwal, who is apparently a CA and wants to understand what are the process of pursuing or applying to the PhD program of IIMs for a CA. So Mr. Agarwal, there is no difference in the process which is being followed by a CA, a student who's qualified CA or any other postgraduate student. The process is just the same for all the students. So uh, the best thing that you should do after you qualify your CA is identify which IIMs you want to apply to, go to the IIMs website, check what is the eligibility criteria. If you do have the required qualification, which that particular IIM say, supposing IIMs Bangalore wants, then you have to simply wait for the time when the application opens and then apply online whenever the applications are open. Like currently the IIMs Bangalore and IIMs Ahmedabad applications are open. So you, if you are meeting the eligibility requirements, you can go and apply apply to these institutes and then once you've applied 
to these institutes, you have to just sit back and wait for the results. In case you are shortlisted, which I'm very sure you would be, then you would be getting a call for the Viva, which is again a compulsory requirement for all categories of students. Once you qualify the Viva, then you will soon call yourself a scholar of IIMS. I hope that answers all your questions. If there are any other questions related to the PhD admission of IIMS or any other questions related to PhD, then please ask us in the comment section below. This is Dr. Ritika Gaba and I'm here to empower you with genuine, in-depth and well-researched knowledge. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave a comment, share and like our videos. Thank you so much for watching my video.